Hey everyone, Dr. D here. In this video, I'm going to show you how metaphase works. This is the third uh, step out of five for a mitosis. And what's happening, you can see that during metaphase, the sister chromatid pairs, the sister chromatid pairs have lined up down the center of the cell, down this imaginary um, plate called the metaphase plate. Okay, the, the sister chromatid pairs have now lined up down the center of the cell. And each, each uh, kinetochore on each sister chromatid is attached to a microtubule. Okay, so look, again, for example, these sisters are identical copies of the same chromosome. For example, this is dad's chromosome one. That's also a copy of dad's chromosome one. This sister is attached to a microtubule from this end of the cell. This sister is attached to a microtubule from the other end of the cell. Okay, so uh, the most important thing to understand is sister chromatids line up at center of a cell along the imaginary plate, the metaphase plate, okay? So that's really all there is to metaphase. Um, at this point, the sister chromatids have lined up, and remember that every kinetochore is attached to a microtubule from the different ends, the different centrioles. Um, by the way, I haven't mentioned this before, but it's worth noting that at this point, they call these centrosomes, okay? Centrosome is a new vocab word to understand. That means the centrioles plus these microtubules, you know, that would be called the centrosome. This would be called the centrosome. You no longer really refer to it at this point as centrioles because, you know, there's more to it than just that, okay? Uh, so that's metaphase. I hope this helps. Please let me know below if you have any questions and thank you for watching.